Are you tired of switching between your code editor and the terminal? It can be a hassle, right? Well, today we're going to show you how to run a system shell or terminal right inside Eclipse. This will streamline your workflow and save you time. I completely understand your frustration. Many developers face this issue when they want to execute system commands without leaving their development environment. You're definitely not alone in this. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, how can I execute system commands in Eclipse Neon using the path of my current project folder? If this sounds like your situation, stick around as we explore the solution together. So why is this important? Running a terminal inside Eclipse allows you to execute commands directly related to your project without the need to switch applications. This can greatly enhance your productivity and keep your focus where it belongs. And make sure to stay with us until the end. I have a special tip that will help you customize your terminal experience in Eclipse even further. To run a system shell inside Eclipse, the user should first install the Eclipse Terminal plugin. This plugin allows users to access a terminal directly within the Eclipse IDE. After installing the plugin, the user needs to restart Eclipse to activate it. Once Eclipse is restarted, they can open the terminal view. Now that the terminal is open, the user can navigate to their project folder. They can do this by using the change directory command, followed by the path to their project. Finally, the user can execute any system commands directly in the terminal. This allows them to run scripts, compile code, or perform other tasks without leaving Eclipse. Fun fact, did you know that Eclipse was originally developed for Java programming? Now it supports a wide range of languages and tools making it a versatile choice for developers. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach to running a system shell in Eclipse is to use external run configurations. First, click the arrow next to the run button with the toolbox icon to add a new external run configuration. In the configuration dialog, enter the path to your shell. For Windows, use C Windows System 3C or the path to PowerShell. For Linux, use slash bin slash bash. You can also specify the running directory, which should be your current project folder. After setting this up, save the configuration and start it using the external run configuration menu. That's the end of that answer. Let's see another perspective. An alternative approach shared by a user involves using the run configuration feature in Eclipse. First, click on run configuration then navigate to the Arguments tab. Here, you can enter your program arguments as strings. Finally, click on Run to execute your commands. That's it for that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative approach to running a system shell in Eclipse is to open the terminal view. First, go to the Window menu, then select Show View and choose Other. In the dialog that appears, type Terminal in the search field, select it and click Open. Once the terminal view opens, look for the button labeled Open a Terminal in the top right corner. Click it, and a dialog will appear. Simply click OK, and you will have a terminal ready to use. Here's that special tip I promised. You can customize the terminal's appearance and behavior in the preferences. This allows you to tailor it to your workflow, making it even more efficient. And there you have it. You can now run a system shell or terminal inside Eclipse, making your development process smoother and more efficient. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks.